Hey guys, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations coming at you today with a Dollar Tree DIY. This is an over the door organizer for your craft supplies. You can use it for so many different things. And I have done one of these in the past. I will link that one in the description box down below. So check that out if you haven't already. But this is going to be using a few different items and I added some spray paint to this just to kind of dress it up a little. So you certainly don't have to do that. Um, if you just bought the items themselves and didn't paint this, it would only cost you $11 total. Now with the extra um, spray paint, about 15 or 16. I did buy the spray paint at Walmart, so it did cost a little less, but it was still about $6 for the can. So here's kind of an overview of the, of the craft caddy and everything that I've kind of managed to make it hold. Now the paint that I used for this is called Burnt Umber and it is so pretty. It's kind of got a metallic sheen to it. And then I added some copper foiling um, pen to it as well. And here's an overview of it without anything in there and all put together. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I put all of this together. So here's the flat burnished umber, uh, Rust-Oleum Metallic. It's paint and primer in one. It's really pretty. And this is the over the door hooks that the Dollar Tree sells. It works really well. I have solid wood doors in our house and this is one of the few um, things that Dollar Tree carries that the doors will actually still shut with it on it. I even have to watch with the wreath hangers. You know, if they're too thick, then our doors just will not shut with them. And here are the shower caddies. And I kind of lay them all outside um, on the top of boxes. And then I kind of just spray paint over them. Now other supplies that I did use were these shower curtain rings. There are 12 of them in a pack, but I did only use six of them for the project. Dollar Tree has these baskets right now. Um, you can get a bonus pack of three of them. I did only use two for this DIY. And then they sell these baskets in a set of three all the time. Every now and again, you can get the bonus pack of four. But these are just simple white baskets. And then they do have these cooling racks, and this is in the kitchen section. And then these hold the pots and pan lids or pots and pans themselves. This one is not from the Dollar Tree, but it was the closest thing I had that looks like the one that I had from the Dollar Tree. I didn't take a picture of it before I painted it. And like I say, I kind of laid everything out. Um, I tried to paint the grass as little as possible. And I did paint over all the shower caddies and the over the door hanger and I painted the baskets and the cooling racks. And I will say your best bet is to put a durable top coat over these because the paint will chip. I was kind of disappointed in that, I guess just because of what it's made out of. You know, it just doesn't hold very well, but every now and again, even when you would put your zip ties on, you would have to um, watch, you know, raking it across too harsh because it would pull the paint right off. And that is one other supply that you'll need are the zip ties. And that's included in that $11 price. And I even painted the bottom edge of the zip ties as well. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. So here's the over the door hanger. And I'm gonna use that flat burnished umber on that as well. And that's what that looks like with the paint. And the zip ties, I did only paint the very edge of them because that's all you're gonna see once you tighten them up on your project. 
So as you can see, I didn't exactly paint on the underside of these. I figured you wouldn't see that anyway, and that didn't really bother me. And on the top of the door, you wouldn't see either. So I just kind of left that bare. If you want to paint that, that's fine. Um, usually I'm pretty OCD about that stuff, but um, I, I just knew that no one would see that part of it. You know, once it was hanging on the door, it wouldn't even matter. So I've zip tied all four of these shower caddies together and everywhere that they meet, I zip tied them. So all along the edges, of course, but also at the very top, you know, there at the side and, and one down, every time it met, I put another zip tie on there. Now you can cut these with scissors, you can cut them with, um, wire cutters. Somebody has said, you know, you could burn them with um, a lighter, which I don't trust myself to do that. That would probably work great for other people, but I don't even try that. Um, I really like the wire cutters because it really gets really close down in there. Other people even said um, fingernail clippers, and so that would probably work out really well too. So I look at it and I try to decide exactly where I want that edge to meet. And I think that I want to put it at the very top. That way I can put three different zip ties on that top part right there. Sorry, I accidentally hit the camera. But I figure that will give me the best um, area that I can put three different zip ties on there and it will make me feel like this is way more secure. You know, if I have that much support in it. So I'm showing you exactly where I'm going to put those zip ties. It's really hard for me to um, get all that on camera sometimes. So if I keep doing videos like this, eventually perhaps I'll be able to invest in some better equipment, you know, that will show you this stuff a little bit better. So I'm going to take these and put them in there, and I don't quite tighten them up until I get everything set kind of exactly where I want it. So I kind of leave that just a little bit loose, just to make sure I have everything in the right spot or, you know, where I want it to be um, without making something too tight where I can't move it at all. So I'll tighten those up and I'll snip those ends and as you can see I put three on each one. I'm going to show you those up close and as you can see I chipped the paint just a little bit right there and that was actually to trimming it off and then there's that one. And out here on the lawn, I've painted everything else. I've got the baking racks, the pot and pan holder, and all the baskets. And I needed more zip ties, so I painted some more of those as well. So the baskets came out really well. Um, the paint really sticks to that plastic very well. I was really impressed, but I just love this color too. I think it just kind of looks antique looking. Now flip those around and paint it on the inside. And the cooling racks came out really nice. Um, and it just ties everything in together. I especially love the idea of, you know, spray painting the zip ties as well. And I was really proud of myself for figuring out that I only needed to do the very edge of them. This is kind of an overview of everything. And then I also painted the shower curtain rings, but I didn't show those outside, and I guess I just kind of forgot about those. Okay, so here are the cooling racks, and I decide that I'm going to try to decide which way I'm going to go with them. And I look at them, and I, I figure out that the way the baskets are going to fit on them, it would definitely be better for them to go this way, because I want the baskets to hang on them really well. 
and I go ahead and I zip tie these together. And I go all the way across and join those together. And then I kind of try to decide where I'm going to put this at as well. And I want to put it in a couple different places as well so that it will be very secure. And I want to make sure that, you know, I get a good hold. And again, I don't go very tight on it until I get it, you know, exactly where I want it at. And I gave in and found the wire cutters at some point. And so there's that. And in my mind, I'm thinking maybe I can put um, the smaller gift wrap rolls in there. Or I've got a bunch of different things of burlap that I would like to put in there as well. And that's in my mind at the time. So I like how all this stuff bends together and, you know, it still kind of is movable. And the one um, zip tie there that you see kind of moved o has moved over, I end up having to take that one off and retie another one on there. So I'm looking at exactly where I want my baskets. And I thought that I was going to put the pot holder on top rather than on the bottom at first. And so that's what I'm trying to decide, you know, where I'm going to place my baskets underneath of it. But I end up going the opposite direction. So I do end up cutting all these off, not the, um, the baskets, but the actual pan and pot holder piece, I'll end up cutting that off and putting it onto the other side because it just was a lot easier than doing the three baskets. But I go through the first slit on that basket on each side and then tighten up that zip tie. And they hold really well, like they held on that a lot better than they actually did the sink mats that I used before. And so I'm kind of trying to decide if I like that or not. And at some point I decide that I don't like the pot and pan holder where it's at. But I kind of space these out, you know, where there's at least some amount between them where, you know, I can slide in, you know, either rolls of ribbon or the washi tape or something that I can place inside of them. Now, I did have several people ask me what washi tape is. Um, most of our craft stores here sell it, and it's just like a low-tack tape but it's just used in crafting. If um, you've ever heard of masking tape, it's similar to that, um, just because it's low tack, but a lot of people use it in scrapbooking, card making, and pocket letters and different things, but you can either use it as tape or use it as decorative purposes, and they make so many different varieties of it now. So here's where I changed it up. Now this is a copper leafing pen, and I just go over different areas all over the shower caddy, the cooling racks, the baskets, and everything, and use that copper leafing pen all around it. And it just really adds some character to this. It like makes it look so pretty. And you can kind of just catch the flecks of the copper at different times when you look at it, and it just looks like it was totally made that way. Now, I took the cooling racks and actually hung them by the shower curtain hooks onto the bottom part of the shower caddy. And this seems to hold very well. They kind of snap into place, and so far I've not had any issues with that. And I've had it hanging for a little over a week now. So I've kind of tried to 
test this out for you so I could relay that back to you. Sorry I'm shaking the camera. I must have hit it with my foot at the time. But I just go through, and you kind of have to shake this pen up a little sometimes. Um, and then you just press it down onto whatever that you have, either the paper or whatever. Um, here, it, you know, just the pieces of the shower caddy. And I just go over different areas and highlight it. And some of the areas, even where the paint had chipped off, I even do that as well. I'm going to show you the basket up close where I kind of put that in there. And I'm going to go through and add to the edge of it and even on some of the little openings just to kind of make it look, I don't know, I just think it makes it look so neat. And I'm not even sure what made me even think to do this, but I thought that the colors just looked so pretty together. And I ended up having to take the zip ties off of one of those um, three baskets that I had on there before. But I want to hang it low enough where I can still hang things off of that shower caddy. Because there's the little hooks that are along the bottom edge of there too. And I would kind of like to utilize those. So here I am still decorating with the copper leafing pen and I'm just going over all kinds of different areas and trying to highlight it and even the baskets I do the same thing and I just go over different areas I, there's no rhyme or reason no right or wrong way of course to do it um, I just go around anywhere and I'm gonna add these with zip ties as well to the sides of the cooling rack I could probably put two more along down the bottom but I'm trying not to add too much weight to this project because I do I was a little worried about how much weight that it would add and that's one reason why I tried to reinforce with the zip ties, you know, everywhere there's a joining place, you know, I put a zip tie. And I did not put the zip ties on with the cooling racks, and I probably could have. You definitely could do that. Um, but I did use the shower curtain rings, and like I say, it's been, it's a week or more into it, and they're still holding up. It's not pulling on them. They haven't pulled apart. Um, it's still holding up really well. And of course here are some copper leafing highlights to the pot and pan holder and the shower curtain rings. And then I'm going to attach that pot and pan holder to the bottom of the part of the two baking racks. And I move it up a couple notches just so again I can put extra tie wraps onto that so that it'll hold better. Like I say, I was a little bit worried and concerned about weight onto that, and I wanted to give it the best possible amount of sturdiness to this as I could. And it's not gonna hold a whole lot of crafting supplies. It's really not for that, but there's just so many different things that you can put on there that's not really gonna take up, um, you know, that kind of takes up some space but it's not really heavy enough that it really matters. So of course you just have to be mindful of what you're gonna put in it. And again, here I am. I put about four different ones on that to hold. And eventually I'm gonna add that third basket up there. Now I did have to do some black ones and I did paint those with the paint. It's kind of hard to see the paint on them, but you can just barely see it. These are actually a little bit thicker and maybe a little more sturdier than some of the ones that I had from the Dollar Tree. Um, they just happened to be in my stash. I think there were some that Jim had given me that um, he hadn't been using, so they came in kind of handy. I, I think I ran out of the ones from the Dollar Tree, honestly. And I think more or less because I ended up taking 
part of this apart and redoing it again before it was all said and done. So I'm sorry my head's in the way. Kind of blocks, um, you know, what I'm doing, but I'm going back and just adding some copper leafing. I think what happened even in that one area is that I kind of knocked some of the paint off again. And like I say, you do want to add maybe a protective coating over this. I did not do that prior to putting all these zip ties on, and I really regretted it. So, learn from my mistake. But otherwise, this came out so nice. I couldn't be more pleased, um, just the color of it and everything. So, even per se, the cost of the spray painting you could still make all this for less than twenty dollars and some shower caddies themselves that you see are you know pretty expensive in the store so here's kind of a close-up of the zip ties holding it on to there And there's some of that really pretty copper leafing that I've kind of thrown in with that. And you see those little hooks on each side and then right in the center. I'm going to try to leave some room when I add that other basket so that, you know, I can still utilize that hook. Here's kind of a close-up overview of everything. And miraculously, I've added that third basket without actually putting that in here. But I'm showing you I'm going to use the, um, these are the black zip ties, and I'm going to tie those around two of those to kind of give it a little bit of sturdiness and attach that to the drying rack. And I'm going to put one of each of those on each side. If I don't use any of the longer um, gift wrap or anything that's down in that bottom, I probably could put another set of those on there. And I was kind of just now there looking to make sure that I have these equal, you know, like so many slots down on that drying rack so that they match. And here's kind of an overview of what it looks like without anything in it. And I was really pleased at how this came out. And I love the pop of color with it. I think that just gives it a little more character. You know, there's four shower caddies, so there's even more room to, you know, put stuff in there. And it just all really ties together. And I think that the little baking racks, um, they're cooling racks, they just kind of add more to it, you know, make it look a little bit more expensive. And so I take the remaining shower rings that I have and I kind of just hang them all over um, where I think that I can utilize them the most for. So you could hang tools from these and just other craft items that you could kind of hang off to the side, you know, just to kind of utilize those. And I'll show you some more, or what I have used them for at the end. And here we go, here's the finished product. I've added quite a few Dollar Tree items in this and added some of that burlap covering down at the bottom, um, just to kind of give this some weight. I've had this up for a little over a week now just to see if those shower rings would hold up on holding those cooling racks and, you know, everything down below it. And so far, this has worked out very well. I love this set. Now, if you just made it in all white and you didn't add the spray paint, it would only be $11. And that's even including your zip ties. But if you want to add the color to it, you're still looking at less than $20 to make this. And I'm just so pleased with how this turned out. I just, I love adding the color to it. I think that just adds a little bit more something to it. But like I say, it does add more to the cost. So thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, crafting it up. 
makeover for the shower caddies. Um, I'm going to be doing another series called Take It to the Next Level, and this is kind of just part of that. This is taking something that the Dollar Tree has and taking it to a whole nother level by adding some spray paint or some glitter or, you know, just something else to, to turn it up a notch. And so if you're interested in seeing future videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you hit the bell, that'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you get time uh, to craft it up. Take care.